Hi you guys, this is Kate and I'm teaching at Islands Creative Space in June and I wanted to show you a couple samples for my fancy Lassie class and then we're also doing a watercolor book using the techniques that I'll be that we'll be working on our girls and that's using watercolors and chalk paints and mixing the two together to get some really fun um, just really interesting um, effects and so here's one that's finished I started working on these two and as you can see they're kind of messy but that's that's how we do it we start out with a line drawing here I'll show you what I have here so I will be giving you um, templates. So if any of you are not familiar with the figure and you, you, I will have all these templates available that you can take these and trace them and then use them to make your own, your own fancy lassie and really concentrate on the painting techniques. Like this is um, just like, this is one here and uh, I'll be going over like the um, how to measure out the size of a, a figure and normal figures are eight head sizes long but because I made these longer legs I wanted nine so basically you start with the head you have this head size and then the next head size would be here which would be the bust line and then the waist the crotch and then down here normally would be where the knee is but I have it down. I added that extra head size to the knees here, and then the calf, the ankle, and then the, and then the foot. So, uh, and then here's another one with a different um, pose. And I actually added some cool boots to this. So I have this one that's available for you guys to trace or to or to draw your own. Uh, let's see. I have a couple other ones. And there's this one and then there's this one which is actually this pose so this can be this class can be for all levels because if you feel uncomfortable drawing I have all this all these different templates to work on and you can just have fun playing with the with the painting and and my technique is not uh, pure watercolor. So if you put something down and you don't like it, we can we always mix it with with a more opaque color. And that's what the that's where the chalk paints come in, is mixing the translucent, transparent watercolors in with the opaque colors to get all these different shades and make it a little more three-dimensional, a little it just gives it a different uh, a different feel. It gives it a heavier, more grounded effect. So I hope you guys will join me. I think it's, I taught it um, last April and we had a great time. You know, really, really great time and some really great re results. So anyways, hope to see you there. Bye.